Chapter 9 Adelmo was eager to contact the scientist, hoping to get some answers to his burning questions. However, Lana informed him that the scientist could only be reached during business hours at the lab. Adelmo's face fell slightly upon hearing this news, realizing that he would have to wait until the next day to get in touch with the scientist. Feeling a mix of frustration and disappointment, Adelmo couldn't help but wish that the scientist had left a phone number for him to call. He felt a sense of urgency in getting his queries resolved, and not being able to reach the scientist immediately added to his growing impatience. Despite his annoyance, Adelmo knew that he had no other option but to wait until the lab opened the next day. As Lana prepared to leave for the day, she turned to Adelmo and casually inquired if he would be coming back the following day. Adelmo nodded, grateful for her reminder and the opportunity to try reaching the scientist again. With a renewed sense of determination, Adelmo made a mental note to arrive early at the lab the next day, hoping to finally get the answers he had been seeking. Adelmo's response to Lana's subtle and flirty hint about wanting to see him tomorrow was filled with uncertainty. He acknowledged that he might be available, but couldn't confirm it. As Lana bid him farewell, her voice slightly raised, expressing her hope to see him the next day, she appeared a bit melancholic. Walking towards her car, she kept her gaze lowered, attempting to conceal the deep emotions she had harbored for Adelmo over the years. Adelmo, on the other hand, seemed oblivious to the signs Lana was giving him regarding her feelings. Oblivious to her hidden affection, he hurriedly continued on his way, completely unaware of the impact his response had on her. His focus shifted to his upcoming meeting with Nick, causing him to prioritize other matters over the potential connection with Lana. As Adelmo made his way to the restaurant to meet his friend, he remained unaware of the missed opportunity with Lana. Oblivious to the depth of her emotions, he failed to recognize the significance of her subtle hints and the vulnerability she displayed while bidding him farewell. Little did he know that Lana had been longing for a chance to express her feelings for him, and her hope to see him the next day was a reflection of her desire for a deeper connection. Arriving at the restaurant, he noticed that Nick was nowhere to be seen. He made his way inside, where he was greeted by a friendly waitress who exuded a cheerful demeanor. She inquired about the number of guests dining with him, to which he responded that it would only be two. Politely, he requested a corner booth for a more intimate dining experience. As he settled into the cozy corner booth, he couldn't help but admire the warm ambience of the restaurant. The soft lighting and tasteful decor created a welcoming atmosphere that made him feel at ease. Glancing around, he noticed the hustle and bustle of the busy restaurant, with servers gracefully moving between tables and patrons enjoying their meals. Despite Nick's absence, he decided to make the most of the situation and enjoy a delicious meal on his own. The menu offered a variety of enticing options, from classic comfort foods to gourmet dishes. As he perused the menu, he couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to treat himself to a nice dinner. The anticipation of a satisfying meal helped to lift his spirits, and he looked forward to savoring each bite in the pleasant surroundings of the restaurant. Adelmo, a regular customer at the restaurant, approached the friendly waitress and made a special request. He asked her to keep an eye out for his friend, Nakusabila Minka, and inform him once he arrived. To Adelmo's delight, the waitress immediately recognized Nakusabila as one of their regular customers as well. With a confident smile, she assured Adelmo that she would gladly fulfill his request without any difficulty. This reassurance put Adelmo at ease, knowing that his friend would be taken care of. As the conversation continued, the waitress, eager to provide excellent service, inquired about Adelmo's beverage preference while he waited for his friend. With genuine interest, she asked, what would you like to drink while you wait? Adelmo pondered for a moment and then replied, how about a cup of coffee? The waitress acknowledged his choice and promised to bring it to him promptly. Leaving Adelmo to his own devices, she headed towards the coffee station, determined to fulfill his request with efficiency. A few minutes later, the diligent waitress returned to Adelmo's table, carrying a steaming cup of coffee. She noticed that he was engrossed in reading the newspaper, so she approached him quietly, not wanting to disturb his concentration. With a gentle smile, she handed him his coffee, ensuring that it was placed within his reach. Adelmo, grateful for her attentiveness, 
thanked her warmly. As she walked away, she began multitasking, efficiently completing her remaining tasks before the end of her shift. Her dedication to her work was evident as she meticulously attended to her side jobs, all while keeping an eye out for any additional needs of the customers. Adelmo's eyes were glued to the newspaper as he scanned the article about the break-in that had occurred the previous night. His heart raced with anticipation, hoping to find some new information that could shed light on the incident. However, as he read through the lines, a sense of disappointment washed over him. The newspaper seemed to downplay the severity of the break-in, portraying it as if it were the work of a mere animal. Adelmo couldn't help but feel a pang of frustration, knowing deep down that there had to be more to the story than what was being presented. Just as Adelmo was lost in his thoughts, Nick finally arrived and took a seat across from him. The two friends exchanged a knowing glance, their eyes filled with curiosity and intrigue. As if on cue, the waitress approached their table, her presence adding an air of suspense to the already charged atmosphere. With a warm smile, she turned to Nick and asked if he would like a cup of coffee. Nick's response was laced with a mysterious undertone, his voice dripping with intrigue. Yes, that would be nice, thank you very much, he replied, his enigmatic smile captivating both Adelmo and the waitress. As the waitress walked away, a nervous smile played on her lips, and her cheeks turned a rosy shade of red. She couldn't help but wonder what secrets lay behind Nick's mysterious smile. The air around the table seemed to crackle with anticipation, as if something extraordinary was about to unfold. Adelmo leaned in closer, his curiosity piqued by Nick's enigmatic demeanor. Little did they know, this cup of coffee was just the beginning of a thrilling adventure that would unravel the truth behind the seemingly ordinary break-in.